comes. That one thing can only be Mzanti's number one Santa technology show. It's your MZ on Mzanti's number one channel. Kulumanga, my Kulunga, SAPC one Mzanti for sure. Now, this one cool show getting Patrick along with us as Ben, Alan Kava Kava, great Kavle Vinica. Then I'm going to take a box. Then I was my co presenter of Sabo Makwa. Now, Bongi, we all know that it's your MZ rocks and our fans rock too. But I am trying to salute Salut Sabantu who are actually rocks. I want to say, I hope that doesn't mean my fans are besetting your rocks. Not exactly. We are familiar with the term watinta bafazi, watinta imbogoto. You strike a woman, you strike a rock. And the fact that women are the rocks of the nation. All we are doing again, I'm is saluting the woman and the role of Dalayo in the foundation yeah, in the country, particularly relating to science and technology. Wow. Now, on behalf of all the women that have M's and Vietnam, I feel really honored. I am excited to see myself as part of when I to M's and Vietnam. And India, Kulu Nabong Sipo, you don't even need to do anything. Just keep your eyes glued to it. It's and Tinaga, so let's tell the edge entertainment right now. But I'm a Jebongi, I'm landed. Coming up next, I have a teenagers on a mission. I have a lot of chemical engineer. I have a lot of people who are talking about it. We meet up with a young award-winning genius all the way from Limpopo to learn about how he achieves against all odds. I have a lot of people who about what chemical engineering is all about, what cool experiments you can do. We check out some awesome apps for your mobile. We have a lot of people who are talking about it. We have a lot of people who are talking now, one of the lovely things about this great country of ours is that we are all free to have opinions. And it is this free thinking that makes nations progress, and it's still the same free thinking that will make Ushalulio Tutin Hamele Pambil. Ishalo Gai, now you're probably asking yourself, how exactly, well, by hitting the streets of Mzansi, Chetanan, Kalokubantu, Abatleganga, finding out exactly what other was known as in his Kele Kele Quest, like I'm doing. So let us do just that. Check this out. What is chemical engineering? Chemical engineering, yeah. it's where by uh, engineering where you study about chemicals and yeah. stuff. Uh -huh. Do you think in the science and technology fields, Naba, Naba, this is a Naba thing? I am born in Nigeria. Yeah, not a lot of women. Some of them they are in mechanical. I am from Kenya. What is terminal solar energy? Oh. In a make sense, but it's like why is the person like it is a long way for you to say that throughout history, I'm a being I've always been encouraged to pursue my purpose. I can see Leona Bongi, but not only women have become disadvantaged. Some people from the rural areas do not have the resources that you and I take for granted. In Jalo, see, as something as simple as the internet is discussed resources for a lot of our countries and developed areas. Nisho na ngai party lelo, but the silver lining of all that is the fact that it's slowly becoming a thing of a past. Though, guess I would want to take your word for it. I'd like to know if you have any evidence for your hypothesis. Well, you know what? Just look around you. There's a lot of people who are doing some really amazing things. Oh, yes, and there are people who come from these rural areas and are achieving way more than their counterparts from the city. I want us to look at more of these amazing people who are like flowers that blossom through the cracks. <laughs> like diamonds in the rough, they are truly phenomenal. Mm, there's no denying that the fact that social media is a big part of our lives, it's become how we connect for the Scotland Eye with each other. Look, and you're true. Like how our Tom's fans connect with us via our Facebook and Twitter. Twitter, and now even Instagram accounts, but can't go on. Mm -hmm. Well, there are some amazing people who have used this technology. Good Bashinje is for the better in their own little way. As of ten, begala. These modern day problems need modern day solutions. So one of the greatest weapons we have is the ease at which we can communicate and engage. Have you ever thought of the fact that your cell phone is actually a weapon? And no, I'm not talking about throwing it at your younger sibling and when they irritate you. A hashtag a symbol your parents knew as a pound or number sign is now a tool used to create awareness and show unity around a subject. Many of these have been driven by very fearless and proactive women. Malala Yousafzai, a young lady like some of you watching right now, has used her global influence to spread awareness around the Nigerian girls who were kidnapped by Uboko Haram. Umalala created the hashtag Stronger Than campaign, which she says spreads the message of how young girls are stronger than fear, stronger than violence, and stronger than terrorism. This hashtag is there as a support to hashtag bring back our girls. Then there has been the recent hashtag 67 blankets led by Carolyn Stan, which aims to have 21,000 blankets knitted for charity organizations across the country. Where's going on? But Umalala, you 
herself, Zai, is one of Time 100's most influential people. And she's only 18 years old. Malala, you're something. You rock. I wonder if there are any other young people out there who are just as amazing as Malala, don't There are hundreds of thousands, if not millions, walking the streets of Mzansi. I mean, there's only a chance at least to speak to at least one of them. Mm, definitely we can. Meet the young Tlegita Kali. Genius would be an understatement for this young lady. She's a chemical engineer who's about to go overseas to do her masters. Don't just take my word for it, though. Check her out and, of course, we'll check out what we're Sakubang Mission Yet, and we're celebrating Women's Month. Sisfigi Lelano Zukuruma with a young female scientist. Right now, come with me. This is part of Mission Yet, and it's all about science and technology. And then I'm going to ask you about women and science. So, let's share again. This is Goopy, and what do you do? So La, we're in a lab. It's a chemical engineering lab for chemical and metallurgical engineers. I'm a chemical engineer. I'm a researcher. I'm good biodiesel. I'm very interested with energy and solutions around energy for South Africa, for Africa. What made you actually get interested in science? Since I'm a chemical I, I always liked solving problems, so that's why Boni um, Langati engineering is on Lumia Lamina because um, engineering is all about problem solving, you know. How does it feel to be like a woman in the science with all the stereotype around you? Well, it feels great, but it's not so much because back then it was only guys who went into science and engineering. Got a man, she man graduated, best man, young, but the best father and his graduate, science engineering, science science, and then he invested for another organization, maybe Zuti Women, Women in Engineering. So, the organization is beginning and getting more women into science and technology. I feel um, encouraged. Things are changing, and I also feel determined to be part of the change. I'm a ambassador for this organization called Women. Mm -hmm. So, petroleum engineering basically it's like oil and gas engineering. We deal about uh, digging up oil and gas from the ground. Okay, cool. Do you have a message to all the females of Funguenago Science or that are already in science? My message would be that they should never allow the stereotypes to stop them from getting into science and firstly from getting into science and doing well in science. There are a lot of women with science and technology. Um, you know, and inventing new things. Women we offer different characteristics into the industry that men do not. We should not listen to the stereotypes about gender because there is room for us and there is a great room for us to be there and not just be there but be there and do really really well. Okay, you're going to go to Kony equipment line. I was just born in I'm sorry. Okay, so imagine is on Bonisa a short experiment on how a biodiesel is made. A biodiesel you make it um sebenzisa e alcohol so it can be ethanol or methanol. So we use the methanol. You pour it into a beaker and then you have to use a measured amount according to your experiment. Okay. So a man tell it, you know, you have to use a measured amount, you know, so okay. And then masta da utela e methanol yeah too, so zotela e waste vegetable oil. So e biodiesel, my yenza um from uh, seed oil where utata ama seed from plants, um, crush them up and take the oil, or you can use a waste cooking oil. Okay. So, 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 magnetic You know, so kona a magnetic connection between lentzimbile and this uh, piece of equipment la. So man chicha la it, it stirs and it creates a reaction. Okay. And that's how a biodiesel is formed. So if I get a magnetic sterile, ne methanol, ne waste vegetable oil, so so chicha get manje. So your reaction here to la yenza a biodiesel corner. And then you have to stir for extended periods of time to okay. react And finally, when the show goes to your valala, you have to make because more man gets a man, he will he will be careful. It doesn't make biodiesel. Gaku, you know, it's 
in the Bible, it's saponification. Saponification means it's soap, not biodiesel. Okay. So you don't want it to create soap, you want it to create biodiesel. So that's why I see Balala. Okay. Okay. After having left it for a very long time, it's going to have created biodiesel. So here we're trying to um, create a reaction between methanol lena near waste cooking oil, which is a biodiesel. Wow, talk about a young and ambitious Zanzi role model. Can you grab it and go back later? Imagine what's good enough. Oh, good luck with that. Just kidding. You're already phenomenal. Wow, see, I hope that was not sarcasm. Go to bed now while we go out, get an idea and take an ad break. Turn on your pussas as they go and about any phenomenal diamonds or Zazio that you know of, and let's celebrate them. Masabuya gets the demand with a young award winning genius all the way from Elimbopo to learn about how he achieves against all odds. Why again, Sipendla, how does solar energy actually work? and how it can work for when Apo Ekai. We check out some awesome apps for your mobile. Kwa nga indao. Soon as I'm getting a message, I'm going to go up and go to the size and check up on the size. If not, it's your MZ, then you don't get it. It's the one looks answer for sure. Now, I'm trying to get we are all about the wonderful diamonds in the rough that have made it through trying times. A bantu who have done some really phenomenal things that need to be seen by the entire world. Now, we've seen and heard of some of these wonderful people of various age groups and races. A bantu who were once ordinary people like you and I. But it's the little extra that they did that makes them extraordinary. Mm -hmm. These extraordinary people inspire other people to be extraordinary people themselves and it just starts a chain reaction that breeds really phenomenal people. Jalo Ganyan, before we know it, we are discovering amazing things, innovating entire industries. Quite as the in these ways we know it. I am Hamandi Shematiwa from Biru Secondary School in the Limpopo province. I'm currently studying grade 12. I'm from a rural a rural township in Limpopo province called Sibasa. I live close to my school. Uh, there's a gravel road right in front of my, right in front of my gate. So it tells you a lot about the situation around my, my home place. Uh, the problem is that there's so many of us in one class, like Rodara, Rume, and it's difficult for us to, like for the teacher and the learners to communicate on a personal level, cause like there's so much of us. So we are going to be there's also a lack of funding because we're a government school, but we also need to add fees, even though it's a government school, government school which is supposed to be no fee, we need to add fees so that the school can be able to run. Because like, uh, so yeah, there's to be school fees, even though it's, it's a no fee school. Like ngote uchibwa na chitu cha one chine na kuba ala kabugu. Or niko na chibwa na ni chifesese. Niko na yamuringoni ni mwalizo abudi. Cause like once you do the practicals and you've already read the theory, it comes easier, you learn it, you understand it, you remember it. So in this environment where there's lack of funding and resources for the labs, it's difficult as a science student to cope without the practicals. Tonight, I was invited to attend the 51st uh, annual Science Olympiad Award Ceremony, and I was lucky to be uh, given the special award which, which signifies the fact that for the past three years I've been participating in the competition and achieving good results. So they recognized me and they gave me 40,000 rands. I managed to take second place with three other people, so it was a tie. The Science Olympiad is written nation, nationwide, so every single learner from grade 10, 11, and 12 participates, can participate. And there's two subjects, physical science and life science. So I managed to write physical science and took position two out of the whole nation. So it was me from a disadvantaged school and all the other students, even from the advantage schools, and I managed to come in the top. If you about solar power and all of its benefits, God, or do you know what solar power is really about? Yes, this involves getting energy from the sun, but the way in which this energy is harnessed is where the beauty of solar lies. If solar energy can be broken into three categories, thermal, electrical, and chemical. 
Thermal is about getting the heat from the sun. This can be done in using very low tech methods. This is the type of technology that allows for solar cookers to do what they do. E-electrical solar gas is the one most of us are familiar with, where the sun's ray are converted to electricity, which is commonly used for light. Then you get a chemical solar where the sun's rays are used to create chemical reactions. This is actually the basis for how plants photosynthesize. A lot of research gear is being done to use this type of solar in more applications, and we're excited to see what comes out of this. Wow, talk about Abandu Abach and amazing who are using technology to play their part. Mm, when I get a pick up in Dima or Idala, feel free to let us know on social media. I'm also excited to get to see how renewable energy, specifically solar, evolves through the years to give more power to more people with the smallest carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. The US has been a buzz about a solar powered household battery that was recently launched. When I pick up an idea now, a cool that could possibly give power to the people. That's this again. Who knows? We could link you up with the right people and it could go nationwide, maybe even global. Mm -hmm. Let's go pay our bills. Well, Africa ends the dead and the Tinaga. See, I'm going to go anywhere. We go back in time to see for ourselves how women have actually been active. Mandulo. We get some very useful apps that any young lady should have. Why we get some life changing career advice in our career segment. Why I got a pussy car, Michelle and I go much yellow to Nata. Why now? And you've seen some of Mzanti's young and amazing geniuses would want to get in Dima by Dala by Dala Ganjali to make Mzanti great. Now, as a young woman, I've been inspired to be as amazing as I can possibly be. Yes, you don't. No negativity from the case, me shall prosper. Your Nagi mentality song can lead to Abantabash with Medicine. My family in Gasselas have mentioned which how women have been oppressed historically, but despite that, some women pushed through these limitations society imposed on them, and now their names live on forever in the history books. As I guess we'll begin. One cannot speak of extraordinary women in science without the mention of a Marie Curie. She is the first of women to win a Nobel Prize, not once, but twice for her work in radioactivity that led her to discovery of radium and polonium. With her head in the clouds, or should I say beyond that actually, Caroline Herschel was the very first woman to discover a comet. She discovered a total of eight comets in her career. She worked closely with her brother, William, who actually discovered Uranus all the way back in 1781. The Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, or simply ENIAC for short, was the first electronic general purpose computer. Got that six young and amazing women actually programmed this computer back in 1946. Many great minds have contributed to the existence of the internet. Some of you know of them and some of you don't, but one name that you should make sure that you know is that of Rodia Perlman, who has been dubbed as the mother of the internet because of her invention of the spanning tree protocol. Amanduga usually think cyber junkies are buffet to love to break up apart every piece of technology they see because they think they can fix it. Ah, but girls can also be cyber junkies too. Even I can dissect things and look at their inner workings. The only difference is we don't break them. Mm, personally, I don't like to break things. God don't get me now. I just read But we are going to for open interpretation. But for now, okay, let's take a quick walk through the cyber streets and see what apps are out there for us women. Let's get it. You know that you should never judge any girl by her looks, right? But the truth is, makeup is one of the ways I buy So why don't you download a makeup genius app? What this app does, it allows you to see how makeup will look on you without having to put it on. I love this. I actually should try it on Sia. Anyway, here's another app every woman should have. A field trip is an app that lets you find some of the hidden gems in the city by showing you a location in the area. When the Sparks Woman on the Mac option is switched, on, the app will show you some of the coolest places where Abantu Besfazana have made history. Just to motivate you a little. Try it now. So, Gessi, are we going to try out the makeup app for mm -hmm. you, right? Mm -hmm. I will see, but then you can't say no to a woman on a woman episode. Come on, it's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. Can we move on with the show? There shouldn't be any gender based limits between when I'm in my I recently read an article on how women are making inroads in the world of mining. So, check this out. 
Amain Ventilation Observer is the technical expert for the ventilation and occupational hygiene of Amain. Romse Benzge involves inspecting mines, recording information that relates to Amain's and Umoya quality and taking care of hazardous waste, all in an attempt to make sure that the mines and its miners are safe. You will need a minimum of a grade 9 certificate to do a learnership in occupational safety, hygiene and environmental in mining and minerals. Available at levels 2, 3 and 4. By the way, girl, man, if you want to see how I took the challenge, then simply go visit Galoka our social media accounts and see for yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you want to pick out something, we turn into more inspiration from Abba Vagash with Madam Shlange, then just keep your eyes glued onto the screen. Galoka, yeah, because Galoka, up next we go back to in Rwanda to do business as well and get some life-changing advice for you wonderful people up in my car. So as like Katina gets cutty, as I'm into your born. So I was born and now to fun and I'm engineering. Oh, turn class ruling, kinga. You know, you like problem solving. Oh, turn is into as the as fun and about science again. Fun again. Oh, fun the EMS in science. Mogo high school. Kala na go primary school. Fun the go natural science, technology in EMS. We enjoy that. He got cool in those subjects. Na go high school. Fun the EMS in science and make sure that you do really well in those subjects. Most of the deal again. Oh, any university. There are a lot of careers for about to about fun. In maths and science, I buy in Zega, I go maths and science. Aeronautical engineer, mechanical engineer. So there are a lot of options for you. More than in maths and science. You have to learn to use your disadvantages and turn them into advantages. Maybe there's somebody in an urban place, an urban student, and they have all these gadgets and devices, and they they end up distracting them from the studies. Well, see, so you don't have that much to distract you, so you have to focus on your books. Learn to use your disadvantages as your advantages. Work hard, get the, the distinctions in the final exam, go to university, and after that work, give back to the community. Facebook, Twitter, oh, quite bird song kind. And again, young minds are uplifted through the show. Yeah, now go to TMZ and Zaganja and to science and technology. Galo. So, I'm going to find out. 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 I'm Facebook, I'm TMZ. Go to Twitter, I'm going to find out. 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 Instagram, Google, at COMZ, underscore SABC1. Until again, next time, keep on tweeting. Nyani, you might touch a nyani, yeah, Papa, when you are being agitated. These 30 minutes just seem to buzz right past us. Mm. But before we sign off today's episode, I would like to know from when a lapo bongi. Now, lapo maka, did today's episode inspire you and empower you as a young person? Well, now I certainly feel inspired, empowered, and ready to take on the world as a young woman. When I get a kaya, who finished that? Mm-hmm. Now, Kotlawi, to hit us up on Facebook at TOMZ, on Twitter at TOMZ underscore SABC underscore one, even on Instagram, TOMZ underscore SABC one. I guess Kulmeni gave a fair to all. All the women in my life and the women in the world, I would just like to say I appreciate you. Well, man, see ya, that is too sweet. Until next time, get from Nabong Sipo. No, see ya, it's goodbye. Coming up next on TOMZ, we'll be finding out just what causes heat in the finest detail. So, Mr. Jong are out a pyrotechnics display. Like a fire station to find out more about the equipment they use to fight massive heat. In clockwise, Sabi Sifuna all about the discovery of fire. Unga pozo ge ngu tiwe emzi kronge mivulo na ngolo yezbini ngezi biesini only here on SABC1. Zanzi for sure.